Okay, this is task three for brakes. This one's called the drum brake inspection. Uh, the first thing we want to do is check our brake pedal free play. Now, I'm going to show you this on the trainer how to do this, but I'm going to assign a car to you that you're going to have to do this on. Um, the first thing we want to do is check for brake pedal free play. Uh, we want to make sure that this is this moves nicely. Okay, uh, no noises, no squeaks. Uh, the other thing we want to do is check the pedal height. We want to measure from the bottom of the pedal to the floor and see what that pedal height is. Make sure it's at the right spot. You're going to have to look that up on Identifix um, to see what that is. Uh, the other thing you need to do is check for... Um, we'll do the vacuum assist for first. We need to check the brake fluid reservoir. We'll do that in just a minute. I know it's step two and we're going to step three, but that's okay. Um, with the car running, turn this on. The car is running now. Actually, turn this off. What we want to do is press on this. We want to get rid of all the air until it's a firm pedal. Turn on the car, and this should move down. That is a demonstration, or that is showing us that the brake booster is working properly. Then we'll, then we'll do this one more time. With the car off, we want to pump the brake pedal until we get all the air out of the brake booster. And when it's firm, a nice firm pedal, you want to turn on the car. And the brake pedal should slowly move down. That's correct. If it doesn't slowly move down or you have some other problem, uh, then the brake booster is not working properly. Okay? So, after we check our brake booster, we want to make sure that our brake fluid level is proper. Go ahead and open the hood and we'll check under the hood and make sure that that's at the right level. It should be about a quarter inch from the top. The next thing we want to do is lift the car up, put it on a stand or put it on floor jacks. Uh, we're going to take off the drums. And as you can see, we're over here. We already have the drum off here. Um, here's our drum. And we want to check again for any scoring or hot spots or cracking or uh, glazing that we may have on here. So you want to visually inspect this and note that down. Uh, the other thing we want to do is measure this. And I'll give you the tool to do that and I will show you that personally how to measure that. It's really hard to see the tool you use and how to measure it on this video so I'm just going to do that in person. Um, so that's fine because on your sheet you need to look up the specs for this. Um, this is off a Dodge Neon. So you're going to have to look up the Dodge Neon in the book. Under, but you have to look it up under Chrysler in our book. It's not listed under Dodge. It only lists trucks under Dodge. Look it up under Chrysler. Um, you'll find neon under there, and it'll give you the, the correct width here, the interior, our inner diameter here, what the maximum can be. And then you need to measure it with our tool and see what you get here. And then note that on your packet. Okay. Uh, once you have that done, um, we're not going to be cutting these. Okay, but we want to check the hardware, check our, re our uh, retainer springs, check our piston, make sure we're not leaking. Okay, um, check our springs down here. Just give it a good visual inspection, make sure we're good. If it's good, um, just note that it's good. That's all you need to do. Um, and that pretty much sums it up. Go ahead and reinstall the drum though. Put this back on the car. Um, you can leave the wheel off for right now for the next group, um, but let's go ahead and install this back on the car. I would also like you to look up the uh, wheel torque specs for the car I assign you as well. And I'll give you the car make model in here, but you need to look it up on Identifix and tell me what the wheel torque needs to be um, to install this properly. Okay, and once you get that done, come get it signed off by me.